Hey there folks, welcome to this video and here I'm going to be talking about some news for the world of Formula 1 which came out yesterday which was that the summer break has been shifted to being a spring break. It's been moved forward from August, uh, the kind of summer shutdown where they shut down for two weeks and it's basically ongoing around about now and next month and it will be for three weeks instead of the usual two. And there are a couple of reasons for this. Uh, primarily, uh, it's so that the races can go ahead um, during the summer instead of having to do the proper summer break as per usual. And secondly, because of constraints placed on teams, manufacturers and so on. And of course, this is a response to the COVID-19 outbreak and the pandemic that has been, that there has been a cancellation of the Australian Grand Prix as well as postponement of races in uh, China, Bahrain and Vietnam. And by the looks of things as well, um, the postponement for Zandvoort, uh, the Dutch Grand Prix and the Monaco Grand Prix as well as probably the Spanish Grand Prix. Now the idea will be then that the season will start in June and essentially run over five months with double header after double header after double header, potentially a couple of triple headers in there as well. Uh, the race actually put out this um, thing of how would we solve the conundrum. And it's quite fascinating if you want to check it out. Um, it talks about um, other event dates that would potentially clash with it. So for example, they're like, well, we could move um, Silverstone um, around a week, but that would mean potentially a clash with the London E-Prix. However, if we end up moving something at the point where you've got, say, a tennis tournament at the same time, there's not really a massive overlap in the audiences, so you can get away with it. And I found that was something quite fascinating. Um, it's quite awesome to see these solutions being put into place, um, especially for something like F1 where you have had this enshrined thing of a summer shutdown, and they've got approval from the teams to go, yeah, we're not going to do a summer shutdown, instead we're just going to have one continuous season. It makes me think that the calendar will be largely more um, Europe-centric this year than previously. So a lot of the kind of races in Europe will happen in this massive block where they're just back to back to back to back to back to back to back. To back. Because that means that you limit the flyaways and then you have like what was going to be the plan before. Which was you have a European season, you have the season in Asia, you have the season in the Americas. And potentially um, a double header finale in the Middle East with Bahrain and Abu Dhabi. Because, well, they they want the races to still go ahead in Bahrain and Abu Dhabi. Even though, for me, speaking as a fan, despite the fact that we've had a couple of interesting races the past couple of years in Bahrain, I wouldn't mind it not being on the calendar. And to be honest, sometimes the same with Abu Dhabi. But this is definitely an interesting time for the world of motorsport um, in more than just Formula 1. And it's interesting to see these solutions coming up as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, especially if you don't agree with me, make sure to hit the like button and let me know why you didn't agree in the comment section as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to stay in the loop about any kind of uh, motorsport content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. You can hit the bell notification as well to be notified of any future videos and any future streams as soon as they happen. Bye-bye for now.